prostitution are forms of child sexual abuse. It is highly underreported because it is mostly committed by people that are close to the victims. Ladies and gentlemen, in our culture, we have that thing that we call Muram Chiram. We have a lot of girls or children, if I should say, that are abused. And um, it's hard for them because the girl is saying, look, this is my uncle. How then do I go and report my uncle? Most likely this uncle is the breadwinner of the family. How then does she report the breadwinner of the family? How will the community take it? Theme for us was not just a theme. It was an opportunity to reflect and document as a country the various social and cultural practices which may be affecting the development of our children. The Ministry of Youth Indigenization and Economic Empowerment through the Zimbabwe Youth Council which administers the Junior Parliament is taking a keen interest in highlighting these harmful practices to aid advocacy by the children as well as influence informed responses by various stakeholders. The community consultations which have culminated into the report we are launching here today were particularly undertaken after the junior parliamentarians noted that they needed evidence-based advocacy. This research is different in that it was commissioned and led by children themselves. They gave us the story behind the figures, which we are often getting from different departments and stakeholders. The report we are launching today will be a tool for the Junior Parliament Advocacy Program with other child-related groups to enhance their appreciation and their engagement with the various stakeholders, including the government. Early marriages, child prostitution, child labor, child sexual abuse, and border jumping are some of the key issues. I am aware that the Zimbabwe Youth Council and UNICEF are in the formative stages of setting up a project they have called U Report, which is a real-time SMS-based feedback tool where children will be able to respond to issues, share experiences, and report issues from their communities using the mobile phone. This program, I believe, will enhance communication between us, stakeholders, and the children. Harmful practices will easily be reported in real time and hopefully responses as well. <coughs> Let me end by reiterating our commitment to meaningful participation of young people in national development, including decision-making on issues that affect the children. We have since started the process of disseminating the reviewed national youth policy and engaging stakeholders cited in the implementation matrix to ensure that all the, all the children and young people reach their fullest potential in a safe environment. Our youth policy is very clear that it is the wish of government to have a society where children are protected and their rights are respected. We will continue to work with the child-led groups, junior councils and junior parliamentarians to ensure that children all over the country are aware of their rights, responsibilities, and are empowered to claim them. I therefore declare this report officially launched. I